Unit 4 Reproduction and Species Continuity Lesson 1 Cell Division Types of Cells The first type is Somatic Cells Somatic Cells are all body cells except reproductive cells. For example, in humans and animals, the cells of liver, skin, kidney are somatic cells. In plant, the cells of roots, stem, leaves are somatic cells. The second type of cells is reproductive cells, which are, in humans and animals, the cells of testes and ovary are reproductive cells. In flowering plants, anther, which is the main reproductive organs in plant, and ovary, which is the female reproductive organ in plant, are from reproductive cells. So we have two types of cells, somatic cells and reproductive cells. Give reason for, the nucleus is responsible for cell division. This is because nucleus contains the genetic material of the living organism, which consists of a number of chromosomes that have the main role in cell division. So nucleus is responsible for cell division because it contains chromosomes. Chromosomes. What's meant by chromosomes? They are thread-like bodies present in the cell's nuclei and they represent the genetic material of the living organism. As you can see, this is the image of chromosome. General structure of chromosomes. Chromosomes consist of chromatids. Chromatids are two connected threads. They are two connected threads. And centromere. Centromere is the point of connection of the two chromatids of chromosome during the cell division. So this point of intersection between the two chromatids is called centromere. Chromosome consists of two chromatids and one centromere. Each chromatid consists of DNA. DNA is the nuclei acid that forms the chromosomes that present in the cell nucleus and it carries the genes. Proteins. So the chemical structure of chromosomes is DNA and protein. Information about chromosomes. The number of chromosomes in living organisms is different from a species to another. For example, in potato, it contains 48 chromosomes. In human, human contains 46 chromosomes. Pea plant, it contains only 14 chromosomes and so on. As you can see, the number of chromosomes is different from one species to another. But the number of chromosomes is fixed in members of the same species. Somatic cells contain two sets of chromosomes, one inherited from the father and the other from the mother. The number of chromosomes in somatic cells is a doubloid number, or 2n, while in gametes or male gametes, sperms, and female gametes, which is ova, is haploid number n because when a sperm fuses with an ovum each one of them contains half the number of chromosomes when they combine together they will form a somatic cell or zygote which contains the full number of chromosomes which is doubloid knowing the number of chromosomes helps in identifying the animal and plant species. In human, all somatic cells contain 46 chromosomes, while the gametes contain 23 chromosomes. 
cell division. Cell division is a complicated process through which the living cell divides into two cells or more to aim the growth or reproduction. Types of cell division. We have two types of cell division. The first one is called mitosis or mitotic division or indirect cell division. The second type is meiosis or meiotic cell division or reduction division. We will start our lesson by studying mitosis cell division. Its location. It takes place in somatic cells. Importance. Mitosis helps in growth of living organisms, compensation of damaged cells, and finally, completing the asexual reproduction process. Resulting cells. Two cells are resulted from mitosis cell division. Each cell contains the same number of chromosomes, which is doubloid, 2n, of the parent cell. Before the cell division, the cell undergoes a phase which is called interphase. During interphase, the cell prepares for cell division. The amount of genetic material or DNA duplicates. Stages of mitosis or mitotic cell division. It includes only one stage, including four phases, which are prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. We will start by the first phase, which is prophase. As you can see from this video, the nucleolus and the nuclear membrane disappear. Then, chromatin reticulum condenses, changes into the solid form to form chromosomes. So, chromatin reticulum condenses to form chromosomes, as you can see from this video. Spindle fibers start to form, extended between the two poles of the cell. As you can see, some fibers, which are called spindle fibers, start to appear. By the end of prophase, we reach the second phase, which is metaphase or mesophase. In this phase, as you can see from this video, the chromosomes, which are connected with the spindle fibers through centromere, are arranged along the cell equator. So chromosomes are arranged along the cell equator by the help of spindle fibers, which are connected to their centromere. So they are perfectly arranged along the cell equator. The third stage is called anaphase. As you can see from this video, the centromere of each chromosome splits lengthwise into two halves. So the chromatids separate from each other. Spindle fibers begin to shrink and the two identical groups of chromosomes each contain single chromatid are formed. Each group of chromosomes migrates toward one of the cell's poles. The final phase is telophase. The spindle fibers disappear. A nuclear membrane is formed at each pole of the cell surrounding the chromosomes, leading to the formation of two nuclei. The cell divides into two new cells which are doubloid. Each cell contains 2N, the complete copy of chromosomes. So we have two cells from
from only one cell. These are the phases of mitosis. Note the following. In animal cell, the spindle fibers are formed by centrosome. Centrosome, it is a part of the animal cell which is responsible for the formation of spindle fibers. In plant cell, the spindle fibers are formed from condensing the cytoplasm at the cell poles. This jelly-like fluid, which is cytoplasm, is responsible for the formation of spindle fibers in plant cell. Give reason for the changes occur in telophase are called the adverse changes. This is because they inverse the changes occur in prophase from mitosis division. As you can see, in prophase, the nuclear membrane disappeared and the spindle fibers appeared, but in telophase, the spindle fibers disappeared and the nuclear membrane is formed.